Hey guys, welcome to Twin Flame Truth TV. I'm El Hari, Twin Flame Alchemist, Writer, Teacher, and Coach. And um, I want to just apologize for starting this um, a little late today. Um, I'm on my phone because I something's not working with my my computer camera, which I usually use for these things. So I'm a little discombobulated, running late, and I'm I apologize for that. Um, so um, anyway, today's episode, I would like to discuss um, unconditional love and that whole entire concept. And just um, to start off with the fact that um, you cannot be with your twin flame unless you are in a state of unconditional love. Um, and it just can't happen. And following along with that is that as kind of a redundant thing, unconditional love is a very redundant, like almost like it's not an oxymoron because it's the same thing, but it's very redundant. Um, all love by definition is unconditional. You can't have love that's not unconditional. By definition, love has no conditions. So it's unconditional. <laughs> and um, so to say unconditional love, I just mean love. And by love, I mean love is not a verb. So you don't love anyone. You don't love anything. Nothing and no one loves you. Love is not a verb. It's not an action. Um, it's not words. It's not thoughts. Um, it's not e Sorry, I got a phone call in there. That's annoying. Um, but what love is, is it's, um, it's a state of being. It's your natural state of being. It's an energy. And so you are love. You are your soul. You, your soul is your twin flame. And your twin flame and you are both love because your soul is love. So that's what... Um, what love is. It's a state of being. It's an energy. Um, and so you don't love, you are love and you be love. So, um, and you don't do this through any mental, like figuring things out or doing it by that or anything like that. Thoughts, nothing like that. This is not mind and mental is not love. Love's on the level of the soul, which totally transcends anything with the mind and fear-based energy. Fear and love cannot coexist. And that brings me back to unconditional love because there is there's no need to say unconditional love. It's just love because all love is without condition. That means it's without fear because fear is conditions and fear is what causes people to put conditions on love and fear and love cannot coexist. Okay, so having gotten that all out of the way, <laughs> um, what does it mean um, unconditional love? Well, first of all, um, what we know of as humans, like what we're told and taught is loving and what we think is love and how we love people, which remember love is not a verb or any of those things, um, that's not all love. That's all based in fear, so it can't be love. I mean, it's the best that we can do as humans in a fear-based world, um, as close as we can get to like really ex like explaining love, but um, that's not love. So love is your soul. So um, the only way to be love and in the energy of love is to be in, in your soul vibration and to shift and align closer to your true soul vibration, which incidentally is your twin flame. You and your twin flame, you cannot be together physically for long periods of time unless um, you are in that energetic state of love. It just cannot happen because no fear can exist um, to, with you to, to bring any... Um, no fear can exist and be present amongst your energetic field for you two to be um, brought together, right? And that's um, that's when I always say, you know, you need to balance out your push-pull fear-based energy. That's what I'm talking about. That fear-based energy cannot exist in your shared energetic field with your twin flame or you're just going to be in that push-pull thing, right? Which means you're not <laughs> physically together. Um, now, with everyone else and everything else in the world that you think you love, you don't really love. You cannot, we cannot as humans yet get to that state of unconditional love, love with anyone else. Why? Because there has to be none of that fear-based push-pull energy in there. And that's what's so sacred about twin flames and what's so awesome and amazing about this journey is that if you're on this journey and you balance out your own fear-based energy, you're automatically doing it for your twin flame because you are the same energy. That doesn't apply to anything or anyone else. So, um, you know, if you balance out your fear-based energy, even with other people, 
it's not balancing out theirs. So there's always going to be there for your base energy there, which means it's not true love and, and you're not in this state with them of love. Okay, so having said all of that, um, so what does unconditional love look like? Well, or any love, I guess I should say, love, what is love? Love without condition, which is love, period, means that you don't want anything from it, basically. That's, that's really the simple, I mean, there's all sorts of conditions you can put on things, but you put on conditions, why? Because you want something. Or you even wanna be with someone to get something out of it, and that's not love. So let me, let, me, let me point out like this. So you have a physical romantic relationship with someone, not your twin flame. Okay, say you've had one before with someone else, right? Or many, whatever. And um, you know, you, if you can try to remember back to how that was, or even with your twin flame, you wanted to see them. You wanted to be with someone. You wanna be in a relationship. Why is that? Why do you think that is? Because you are looking to that person to feel a certain way because you feel happy or giddy or loved, which isn't even a thing, but you feel that when you're with that person, right? Um, so you are looking to that person because you want to feel a certain way. So you want something from that person. Um, and then of course, there's many other ways to want things from people, right? Like you could actually want them to, uh, you know, do something for you, or you can actually want them to give you something or whatever, right? But I mean, even uh, just like wanting to be with someone because um, you like the way you feel around them is wanting something from them, which is totally an illusion because no one makes you feel anything. Only you make you all of your feelings yourself inside of you. No one else, even if you're attributing it to someone else, including your twin flame, can make you feel anything, not good, not bad. It's all within you. So that in itself is an illusion. But you know how when people, um, I don't know if you've ever been in this situation, but I was talking to a student of mine who's going through this journey and doing awesome. And um, so I love my students. They keep, they keep bringing examples to me and, and give me these, these ideas to make these videos. <laughs> um, because uh, I, was, I was speaking with her yesterday and you know, she was saying how like, you know, all our family members and our friends and everything are always telling her to, um, you know, oh, you gotta meet someone, you gotta, you gotta be with someone, you know, she has no desire, she's getting to mesh, she's balancing, you know, um, she's magnetizing in her twin flame, but you know, they're not together and like, you know, yet in a relationship, because you know, she's just still working in this whole process. But you know, so her people who care about her, you know, think, oh, you need to be with someone, you need to be with someone, let me set you up with this person, let me set you with this, with this person. And you know, I, I I've been in that position before when I was, was single and chose to be, you know, it's like, you know, people just can't stand it. They want to get, they're like, you have to be with someone. You have to meet someone. Why are you single? You know, that's so awful. But like, why would you want to be, why do they think you want to be with someone? Why do you think you need to be with someone? What are they thinking? That what? That, why? Because that person's going to make you happy or make you feel whole or make you feel complete? No. First of all, that's not even true because all your feelings originate within, within you. But secondly, just to want to be with someone is a condition. That's the wanting. Why do you want someone there? There's gotta be a reason. You want something from them, right? And right there, that's a condition. So right there, you know that's not love. It's not love. And I mean, fortunately or unfortunately, I mean, it's the way we're created, so it's perfect. But you know, in, in all other non-twin flame relating physical experiences and relationships, there's always that. There's always a condition there. There's always something someone wants from someone when they're relating with someone. There's a reason they're doing it, right? Um, you know, even if it's not like a materialistic reason, but it's just to feel better because they like enjoy that person's company. Well, that's that's a condition. That's a want. So, with with real love, it's not that you don't you don't feel like you want or need the person. And in this case, right now, where our level of humanity is, that's only concerning our twin flame at this point where you, know, you don't feel like you need or want them there. Um, and that's what I describe as meh. And so, um, you know, they could be there, they could not, but you don't change your feelings because you don't want or need anything from them. Um, and that is, is unconditional love. Unconditional love, which is love, as I said, is freedom. It's freedom to feel just with yourself, freedom from not having or needing anyone else there but it's also freedom from that person. So you're not placing these expectations on them to give you something that you think that they're gonna give you that you want, which is all an illusion anyway. 
it's not real. Nobody gives you anything that you want. I mean, you know, in terms of feeling good or anything, you, it doesn't, they don't. That's all your feelings originate with you from your beliefs and your thoughts. And so that's how you get there with the twin flame. You stop believing your thoughts. And remember the beliefs and the thoughts are that what the thought that you're having is either good or it's either bad. Like you're judging your thoughts as good or bad. Stop judging your thoughts. And then um, you, you balance out that fear-based energy. And that's how you are able to then remove the condition of thinking that anything about your twin flame is making you feel good or bad because it's not. That's on you. That's your job. That's only you. That's your shit. And, you know, this journey is about owning your shit. It really is about getting accountable and being responsible for how you feel because you and you alone are responsible for that. It's not your twin flame. Yes, your fear-based energy wants to put it out and dump the shit and make blame everyone outside of you for everything else that you feel and is going on in your life, but it's always you. All your feelings originate within you based on the fear-based energy thoughts and beliefs that they're that are coming to your mind. Stop the beliefs in your thoughts. Stop judging your thoughts. Stop judging anything as good and bad, and guess what? You release the conditions. With everyone else, that really doesn't matter at this point because they're not releasing their conditions with you. However, with the twin flame, you release the conditions, guess what? You release it for your twin flame to you as well as they are the same exact energy. So anyway, I hope this simplified the whole concept of unconditional love. It just really is love. Um, if, you know, I do, I have a book on Amazon called Love Exposed and it does get into the whole thing about love. It's not just for twin flames, it's just a general book about love and like what it is. And you can pick it up on Amazon, it's called Twin Flames Exposed. If you'd like to, you know, explore this concept further or get more, um, you know, examples and stuff about this. But really, um, that's, that's the whole, the whole thing, the whole key to the twin flame journey, to being with your twin flame physically if you want to. But of course, that's the paradox. <laughs> Once you're able to, you don't want to because you're in meh, like I just said, right? I mean, it's not like you don't want to, but you don't want to either. You know, you're just meh. There's no good or bad there. <laughs> it just is. And that's, that's love, which is always unconditional. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next episode of Twin Flame Truth TV. Have a great day and lots of love.